Hi guys and welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it so very much. Welcome. Um, I'm not gonna, I feel like I shouldn't introduce myself because I feel like the people who watch my sample Saturday are like my tired and true OG lovely followers, friends that um, I appreciate so much. So you probably already know that I'm Aiden. Um, but I do appreciate you clicking on this video because it means a lot to me. I really like sample Saturday. And my inspirations for this, I've actually have stopped posting sample videos and I'm slugging along. I mean, only once a month just because life is insane, but I still like talking about the samples and it's interesting like to me. So let me know your thoughts. Say hi. Like if you've watched this, just leave a comment and say hi so that I know who's watching. Don't forget to, to subscribe if you haven't. You probably already are uh and please like it because that does help me out um because this is like my least favorite, least popular video usually and i think it's fat i don't think it's fascinating i think it's fascinating to watch videos about like empties and samples because i like to see what people have used so i don't think i'm fascinating but like the stuff that i've used i find fascinating okay we're gonna start with two hand sanitizers from ofra they were hand sanitizer these packets were absolutely ridiculous. So what I did was I had a small bottle, not one of the uh, pocket bags from Bath and Body Works, but one that had like an actual lid on it. So I just unscrewed that as it got low and squeezed these in to it and used it that way. They were fine. They had you no know, scent to them. The, it, they were fine. I, I don't think I would purchase hand sanitizer from Ofra, but I did appreciate it given the, what's been going on in the world this past year. Then I have from Dewey Tree, this is the pore minimizing uh, serum. This was almost completely evaporated given the packaging on this. So I didn't even get like a full use out of this. Don't really know what to say about it. I think it would have been interesting to try, but I hate this one. It was like worse than usual. I feel like it just allowed more air to get in and more of it to evaporate quicker. Oh, I should also say, if it's dark, it's because it shouldn't be dark yet, but it's getting cloudy and I think we're going to get more snow. So uh, hopefully, hopefully not. Fingers crossed because I don't like driving in snow and I have to drive to work and that's in a different town. All right. Ursa Major. This is the Golden Hour Recovery Cream. I hated the scent of this. This stunk so bad. I was using this as a night face cream. And I decided I just, I couldn't handle it. I ended up using it on my neck and chest. Um, the, the scent of it was too natural. Um, you know, like you get the supernatural stuff. Um, not supernatural, like, ooh, uh, super natural or uber natural. And it, it, it kind of has a certain scent to it. A lot of, I've had some other like Rahua, shampoo and conditioner. It smelled like that. I I was not, maybe it's the calendula. I don't know, but no, I thought this stunk and I would not want to put this on my face again. Then we have a leave-in treatment from Mark Anthony. This is the Bye Bye Frizz Silicone Free Protecting Leave-In Conditioner. It was fine. Um, I do tend to like, I like the sprays cause then I don't have to like get my hands dirty, uh, you know, like get it all over my hands. Cause then you definitely have to wash your hands afterwards. But I like this one. It's a little thick and, um, it really does get coated throughout your hair very well. I don't know if I purchased it though, but everything I've liked from Mark Anthony, but n I've never felt inspired to buy anything. We have a hand cream from barefoot Venus. This is the vanilla effect instant hand repair. Um, the packaging on this was so beautiful. I really like that. It's supposed to have shea butter, mango seed oil, or mango seed butter, olive oil, soybean oil. This was so strong. Oh my gosh. This is like, it would overpower my perfume strong hand cream. It was a nice scent, but it was so overpowering. So I would not purchase this again, but if you want like a super vanilla, that's going to last uh, until you wash your hands, basically, um, this is you will like this one. And if they have like other skincare, this, if you want something super, yeah. Barefoot Venus will be very fragrant. I have only one perfume sample. This is Good Fortune by Victor and Rolf. I do enjoy this one. I think I'll probably eventually get a bottle of this, but I'm not really, I don't feel like I'm in a rush. I like it. It's a vanilla scent. The fennel in there is just interesting enough to me. 
to make me want want it also the bottle I like that but it's like it's a floral vanilla with that fennel in it I like it do you think you need to run out and get it no but I would encourage you to try it I think it's um, I think it's a good mix of being slightly unusual but also being pretty safe if that makes sense which is like what I like I like slightly safe scents we have Beauty Bio, the daily uh, acid-free vitamin C brightening serum. It was fine. Um, I didn't love it. I didn't hate it. It was it was just a, it was a serum. It wasn't one that I necessarily want to purchase though. And then we have Origins Make a Difference Rejuvenating Hand Treatment. This one I if I remember right. This one has a very citrusy smell. It's it's nice. It was so tiny. Like I'm trying to remember. I know I use it a few times, but I don't remember how. It, treated my hands so it wasn't terrible but it wasn't also like amazing either so those are all of the ones that I am completely done with in terms of samples this month now let's or last month November let's turn to the ones that I am currently using there are there's at least one of these that I have like less than a use of so I probably will I'll let you know uh, I started using this Tula brightening treatment drops with vitamin C they're they're nice I like these better than the one I just talked about, the Beauty Bio, but I don't think I like this as much as the Medicaid. So um, this is nice. If I got a good deal on it, I would purchase it. But I I don't necessarily want to go out and pay like twenty percent off. Like it needs to be more than that off for me to purchase it. And same with this. I don't love this one from Cinderella. This is the A Plus High Dose Retinoid Serum. I feel like it's okay. It's a little thin. Um, I feel like it doesn't spread as evenly because it is so thin. So like one place it will absorb really fast. Um, and it's okay. I don't feel like it's a groundbreaking retinoid. I've been wearing retinol though, since I was like 20 because I had such bad acne, not like terrible, terrible acne. Um, but that was one thing that, um, the place that I went to, I would get, uh, microdermabrasions and chemical peels. They said to use a retinol retinol and I started using it like at 20 so I've been using it for a long time my skin is pretty used to retinol so it has to be a pretty good one to make me feel like yeah this is one I want to purchase I've actually really liked this one this is the uh, Maybelline the colossal curl bounce mascara I was surprised I, I also thought this was a cover girl one like in my list of samples this month I wrote it down as cover girl this is what the brush looks like it's not like the best mascara I'm trying to hopefully you can see um, it's like a decent mascara but it doesn't transfer it does not transfer yay um, that's really what I was looking for I want one that doesn't transfer and I have a hard time with that the Ilia was transferring some other ones that I've used lately were transferring or irritating my eyes and I've had no issues with this one so far and I took this to um, on Thanksgiving when I was visiting my aunt I had just used it a few times before that and then I used it all that week and I definitely didn't have any eye irritation because I was staying with her and she has a dog and I'm allergic to dogs so I was like on allergy medication but I didn't have any extra stuff because I've been on like I take allergy medication every day basically um I'm allergic to so many things Anyway, even with the allergy medication, other mascaras have been irritating me, and this one did not, even with the added irritants that I know that I was encountering. So, yay. Um, definitely one that I would put on my list of decent ones to purchase. This is the Way Leave-In Conditioner. It's a spray. This one is more liquidy because there was, it was like at the bottom and it was not coming out anymore, so I put a little water in it today to try to like loosen it up so that it would spray better um, I have with that water in there that's probably one more use on my hair I'm not gonna bring I'm not gonna bring it back I'm gonna count this one as an empty this month um, so I, I do enjoy this one I think it's a nice one it's a little hard to sometimes to get it to come out of the uh, sprayer because it's it's a thicker formula but I think it's nice I would not purchase it though because way is pretty darn expensive Another one that is basically done, this is the Becca First Light Priming Filter. I'm going to count this one as an empty too. I have, I don't know if I could get a full use out of this once I cut it up and scrape out, so we're going to count it. This is the, uh, I loved this primer. This is probably one of my all-time favorite primers. 
it does such a good job with my skin. I feel like even if you're dry or you're oily, it just it's a lays a lovely base and just gives you a good finish. And I, I really enjoy that about this. And I, this is one product that Smashbox should come back with since they keep doing all of the Becca favorites. This one, this was such a good primer. Next up, this one's looking a slightly grody after using it for three weeks, I wanna say. This is from The Beauty Crop. This is the Brow Friends Forever with castor oil and vitamin E. We don't really say castor oil in it. So this is just a brow, a clear brow gel. Um, just a little tiny wand there. It goes through your brows pretty well. Uh, they do leave them pretty, pretty glued. Like it does feel like you put a little glue in, in your brows. So, um, if you want something that's like up there with ABH, this one, this one might be even a little stronger than ABH. If I'm honest, uh, I got this from Macy's, their beauty box. It was in a box not too long ago. So yeah, it, it's, it's intense. It's, it's a very intense uh, brow gel. Last thing is from Clinique. This is the Deep Comfort Hand and Cuticle Cream. This is what I've been using. This is what I have on my hands right now. It's pretty good. It uh, doesn't have a scent and it's the consistency, like it's a little thick and you do need to work it in, but it doesn't leave your hands feeling greasy either. Like that's the nice thing. I always, this is how I I usually don't like it on my fingertips like I like a little because my fingertips do get dry but I don't want to get smears of stuff or you know it's sometimes hard to hold things so I do like this one it doesn't feel special though I I, I want to feel a little bit special with my hand cream so um yeah this is it's okay but it's not my favorite that is it for my samples for the month of November, all the things that I tried, a couple of them I did technically finish in December, those last two that I was talking about and the Ursa Major. We're going to count them towards my empties though because I don't think any of us need to see them next month at, in my empties bin. So let me know what you have been trying. Let me know if there's something that you think I should try out. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Thank you. Thank you so much uh, for watching. I hope you have a very happy holiday season and yeah, I can't wait to talk to you next time. Thank you.